Can you really play extreme metal on a semi-hollow body guitar? This is a D'Angelico Mini DC. It's a guitar more typically used for blues, jazz, and maybe older rock. But I don't play jazz, blues, or older rock, so I'm gonna try to write and record the most extreme metal song I can come up with this guitar. After doing all of that, I think I can safely say that you can actually play some pretty extreme metal on this kind of guitar. It's just not that easy. You see, you might look at this guitar and find that it has some normal looking humbucker pickups, but they are Supros A2 and A5, and those pickups have really low output. Now I know different pickups might not make as much of a tonal difference as one might typically assume. It's not that the tone coming out of the guitar is bad per se, but you're not getting as much use out of it as you will normally do with a medium or higher output pickup. And the fact that it's a semi hollow body guitar definitely leads to a substantial amount of feedback coming out of it. Not as much as I thought there will be, but it's definitely noticeable. Now the guitar itself is beautiful. By the way, shout out to Sweetwater for sending me this guitar and making this video happen. There will be a link on Sweetwater's article on this guitar in the description down below. Over the years I really grew to really like this type of design on guitars because of Devin Townsend and his several custom Mayfield models. The guitar is packed out beautifully and it's a lot more comfortable for playing metal than one will typically assume. The neck is not as thick as I thought it would be. I mean, it's a comfy D, you can definitely feel the difference between this and maybe my Jackson or my LTD, but it's not bad at all. I mean, the song that I play on this video, I could play it no problem very comfortably on this guitar. It held its tuning perfectly fine, so the only issue that I found while recording this song for this video, other than the output of the pickups, was the feedback. That's why I made the song relentless. So it never stops, so you never hear the feedback. Just one small issue. You can't really chug in this guitar. I mean, you can get a decently good palm mute out of this guitar, but you cannot get that really punchy chug that you would want to get out of a guitar designed for metal. Something that I really tried to get out of this guitar with a lot of gain, with a lot of low end, but it just simply didn't come out of it. So in conclusion, can you really play extreme metal on a semi hollow body guitar? Yes, but not all of it. I mean, it maybe won't do everything you want it to do, Maybe if you put a wood block inside of it for reducing the feedback or put in higher output pickups, you could probably get more chugging and less feedback out of it. But I wanted the challenge of playing and recording a song with the guitar as it is. I know you could play some more classic heavy metal and doom metal with this guitar, but I didn't want it that. I wanted the most brutal and extreme sound that I could get out of it. Maybe it doesn't do everything I wanted to do, but I've been definitely enjoying playing this guitar. It's a beautiful piece of art 
and it's very comfortable. And again, thank you so much to Sweetwater for sending me this guitar. There will be a link in the description for you to check it out yourself. I also want to thank you for watching this video and a big shout out to my patrons, which will be appearing on screen right now. Any help I can get goes a long way for me continue making these videos and being able to improve them. Yeah, that was enough time of a guitar that is not made for metal. Maybe you'll want to watch me playing with a guitar that is made for metal right here. All my social media links and my Discord server link will be in the description down below as always. So please go ahead and check it out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.